Futures right now are a little lower, but off the lows of the morning. In fact, the Dow now down by about 92 points. We've been down by 125 or 130 points earlier. S&P off by six. The Nasdaq actually in positive territory. It's turned around and is up by about 10 and a half points. Let's talk the markets right now with Emily Rowland, the co-chief investment strategist at John Hancock Investment Management. Emily, we've seen er earnings really um, come in in a big way. We've got a lot of numbers this morning. What's your take just on the earnings season we've seen so far? Hey, good morning, Becky. You know, I would say it's it's decent. We have 20 percent of companies now having reported. We're looking at about one and a half percent earnings growth year over year. Of course, the bar had been lowered significantly coming into earnings season. It was at about 10 percent. And I think important to note that seven out of 10 sectors are actually seeing negative earnings growth right now. Um, energy, of course, doing a lot of the heavy lifting with about 100 percent year over year growth expected for this year. So, you know, I think important to know that there are some pockets of weakness there, but overall, some of the key themes are pretty positive. We're seeing, for example, the banks indicating that lending is still robust. Consumer staples and consumer discretionary companies are still able to raise prices. I think it's important to note that, you know, this quarter, the economic backdrop was pretty decent, really, until the end of the third quarter. So what happens from here is going to be a lot more challenging. The terrain is shifting quickly. We're starting to see cracks in the consumer. And that forward guidance is indicating that things are going to get harder. 98 percent of CEOs are telling us that they're expecting a recession next year, according to the conference board. That's not being reflected in the fact that earnings growth is still being penciled in for about 7 percent in 2023. Although you have heard the guidance from some of these companies um become a little more opaque. They're admitting that there's a, a pretty rough economy that they're dealing with, and it's hard to have any visibility into what their orders are going to look like. Um, you heard that from 3M this morning, and that stock got punished pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, you've got a number of different headwinds. You have companies that now have too much inventory, and we're already starting to see discounting. I don't know if anybody's been jarred by the fact that every website you go on, it's like their Christmas scene, and they want you to start, you know, purchasing all your, your Christmas gifts right now. You know, you have uh, obviously a higher cost of capital. You have consumers that are now, you know, continuing to be pinched by higher continued elevated commodity prices. 